So at 10 o'clock, we start with Ezekiel Elliott's arrival here in North Texas, and now the high stakes negotiations for a new contract just days from the start of the NFL season. I'm Doug Dunbar. It's good to have you. We're live team coverage tonight of the talks that are getting closer to a done deal. We're going to begin tonight off the top with CBS 11 Sports' Bill Jones. Bill? Doug, the Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott tonight could be closing in on a contract that would make Zeke the highest paid running back in NFL history. Elliott and his agent, Rocky Arsenault, flew from Cabo San Lucas to DFW Airport late this afternoon, intent on finalizing what is reported to be as much as a six year, $90 million contract extension, $15 million a year of new money. It's a contract that could make the 24 year old Elliott a cowboy for life. And Zeke and his agent came back to Frisco hoping to close the deal. So that Elliott can play Sunday against the Giants. Are you ready to join the team, buddy? I'm been ready. Yeah. <laughs> you expect him to play on Sunday? Um, I think Zeke showed his commitment by coming back to Dallas. So I mean, we didn't come here not to do a deal. So I think he's committed. So, and and uh, both sides are. So. What, what sort of playing shape is he in? Can he contribute immediately? Yeah, absolutely. Now it's uncertain how this affects the Elliott negotiations, but Jerry Jones is in New York tomorrow morning to ring the bell at the New York Stock Exchange in celebration of Comstock Resources' $2.2 billion acquisition of Covey Park Energy. So $90 million, no big deal. Yeah, that's not $2.2 billion. That's there. But, but one would think that Jerry's going to be in the room if and when they get to a deal. So that comes down think. to how quick can he get back here? That's yeah, the next and they can question. negotiate uh, via long distance, sure, too, in the absolutely. meantime. Yeah. All right, Bill Jones, thanks All for the right. update. We do appreciate it. Aaron Aaron Jones tonight continuing our team coverage. She's over at the Star in Frisco, where we know fans got a lot to say about all of this right now. Aaron? That's right, Doug. Anticipation is definitely in the air here. And fans said, come tomorrow morning, they'll be watching all of the updates. Many who we spoke to tonight say they feel the Cowboys just aren't the same without Zeke. And based off what they saw today, they believe he feels the same way. He wants to be here. Courtney Reed says a smiling Zeke at DFW Airport signing autographs and posing for pictures shows he's ready to get this season started. That excitement will just bring a whole lot to the Cowboys, and I think everyone agrees that we really need him. I think we count on him. Andrew Morris, a diehard Cowboys fan, says listening to what Zeke's agent had to say as they arrived at the airport, it appears the holdout will be over soon. A new deal is coming. I had confidence that he'd sign in the end. Yeah, he do the right thing. Maybe we can miss him for the Giants, but the rest of the season we need him. Uh, I want to see him blow the stats up. He's going to be ready because he's been training. So hopefully they can solidify a deal and get him going. So you can see a lot of excitement there. If you checked out Dirk Nowitzki's Twitter feed today, you saw that he was also at DFW Airport. He said he felt pretty good about himself when he noticed all of the cameras, but then he realized that they're for Zeke. Live in Frisco tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. That's good stuff, Aaron. We're throwing out, by the way, that Zeke did tweet back to him and threw a couple of crying emojis back at Dirk, so feeling bad for him. Aaron, thank you. We are, of course, on Zeke Watch until we get a deal signed or the Cowboys are forced to play without the star running back. We'll see. We'll have updates here and on CBS 11 anytime and on CBSDFW.com uh, all the time as well as all across our social media pages.